but uh, here we go. We're just about to start then with the bronze medal contest. We're going to start with the under 57 kilograms uh, category. And this is the, the worst part and absolutely the one where you've really got to focus and get your mind together because you're waiting for it all to begin. Coaches, well, I try and make you feel as relaxed as they possibly can, but uh, well, some people like to listen to loud music. Some people don't like to listen to loud music. I know that I didn't, but uh, I, I, I like to concentrate. I like to get my mind in focus for the job in hand. Our first bronze medal match is going to be Ferenciano of Spain, and she's going to be fighting Hirose Junko of Japan. Luciano is going to be leading the fighters out. Here she is, trying to get her mind right. B2 classification, I'll explain a little bit more. The people that have joined us here that don't know what Paralympic Judo is all about, it's all about visually impaired. And so all of these athletes are visually impaired and they have three classifications, B1, B2 and B3. And uh, B1 classification is where they have no light perception whatsoever, they have no sight and so they can't recognize any shapes at any distance or any direction. And uh, B2 and 3 both involve low level visible vision but uh, we'll see more and we'll go through more as we go through and now also I'll be explaining the rules as we go. The main objective of course is to throw your opponent uh, for on their flat on their back for an ip on or three other ways to score ip on are to hold your opponent down for 20 seconds or arm lock or strangle for a submission. We do have other points as well and we have a penalty system and I'll go through the penalty system as we go. Remember, these are all medal fights, everybody here fighting for a Paralympic medal. And so it's everybody on board, get ready for it because you're going to see fireworks. Yesterday we did, it was amazing. Uh, this morning as well in the preliminary rounds, we saw some great judo. Difference between Paralympic judo, uh, they start gripped up. And so Referee shouts at Jimmy, and away we go into these bronze medal matches. Two bronze medal matches in the under 57 kilos category. And that's going to be a, a Yuko scored, I think, straight away. Did she score it? If you throw your opponent on their side, and it's the upper part of the body that makes contact, you score a Yuko. But, oh, it goes up. Yeah, it's up there now. And Hirose opens up the account straight away. If you roll your opponent onto their back, onto the points of the shoulders, and I mean roll, then you can get a wazari, and if you throw them with force onto the points of their shoulders, you get an ip. Now, every time they go outside of the area, or if something happens and they have a break of action, they'll be told to come together and to grip up. Renciano has to start to attack. She's behind on attacks as well. 25 years of age, Hiroso. Second place in the Asian Para Games, 2014. So she's come to these games on good form. Uh, attacking both flanks as well. And now she might have that strangle on, that might be on. If she's underneath the net there, and she can throw her hips forwards in order to get a submission, and she just might, the referee has called Mate. So just manages to hold off there, did very, very well. So good with their transition from standing down to ground. The thing is about judo is that it is a well-balanced sport between standing and groundwork. We have a lot of throwing, but we have a lot of groundwork as well. And of course, the secret is how fast you transition from standing down to ground.
That is University of Valencia, Maraziano. Two bronze medal matches followed by the final. I think what will happen is we'll have a couple of finals before we have any medal ceremony. So all action at the beginning. So now the whole lane here is to try and turn her over onto her back. You've got to hold your opponent down, controlling the upper part of the body. If they entangle their legs with yours, the 20 seconds don't count. They don't start. This is the interesting point when they grip up, trying to get their comfortable grip or the one that they can throw off. Left to left, almost wrapped round that leg there, Hirose. When you get a left to left situation or right to right, that front leg kind of offers a little bit of a teaser there. You want to wrap yourself around it, try and throw your opponent by blocking it, but it can also work against you. And there, good change of direction, gets a Wazari, and straight into the hold down there. And if you have a look at your clock there, on the left-hand side, see the seconds ticking away. She only needs to hold for 15 seconds because she already has a Wazari. It's 15 seconds for a Wazari, a Wazetti Ipon. She gets two Wazaris, and it's all over, and in fact, a little bit of a mistake there by the person on the uh, clock. She held five seconds too long, but uh, never mind. So an excellent win there for Hirose Junko of Japan. Valenciano will be a little bit disappointed, of course she will. But fifth place at the Paralympic Games is a good result. Big smile. Yarose. Good day's work for her. And of course, the etiquette that we enjoy in our sport. A lot of respect for the opponent and a lot of respect as well for the referees and the judges. Another thing, just slightly different here, we have the two judges, corner judges, sitting in chairs at the side of the mat. Of course, in able-bodied judo now, we only have one referee and then we rely on the video referee. We still have the video referee, but the fighters have to be Escort.